Okay, so here's what it's Patrick Cholo from the Donkey Pit. Uh, here's what happened. Uh, so we have to go pick up some equipment, some stuff that we're gonna move. And uh, there's this, and the way out of that is this little one lane road. And some dude at the entrance of it hit some chick. And we've been here for about 10 15 minutes and uh, they're still there. So, what we're gonna do for now is we're gonna play a little game. In the spirit of Christmas. In the spirit of Christmas, <laughs> we're going. To we're celebrating Jesus, so we're gonna go through his parables and shit, which I honestly don't remember. So, Chola, how well do you know Jesus? He's... he's... Uh, he respawned after three days. Yes. He had really bad internet. I blame the lag. Anyway... <laughs> uh, disclaimer, I don't remember which ones are the parables of Jesus or in which appeared in other stories, so I'm just gonna be giving random ones and we'll see how well Chola can explain them. So first is, uh, what were the parables? The parable of the mustard seed is, fuck, that's, that weird enough, that's the one thing that I never really understood. Like, I think it's like the kingdom of God is like this mustard seed. Because? That's as far as I can remember about that. Well, make something up then. Uh, it's bitter, full of like old people, it's underground, it's small. Mustard's bitter, right? <laughs> I have no idea what mustard. I, how do you describe the taste uh, of mustard? It's sour? It's like, uh, is it salty? Not really. No, no, no. Ketchup is salty. Is it now? It's sweet. Ketchup is salty sweet. Yeah, there. Okay, parable of the mustard seed. As far as I remember, it's like the kingdom of God is like this mustard seed. And I think Jesus was talking to his homies that time. Like, yeah, this this thing. See because this? it's bitter and full of old people. Yeah, I know. Like, I don't know how that's I like. Mean, a you have seed. a grandma. You know, you're really just grandma and shit. Yeah, let's Google if how close I was to the parable of the mustard seed. Because I'm pretty sure. Your opening line, I'm sure, is correct. I'm just, I'm 100% sure nothing after it matches. If it says that there are people in heaven, I'm still right. No. I, it's just I was very specific that there are only old people in that's heaven. That's really, that's pretty far. The kingdom of the heaven is like a great, this is not a preaching video. I'm reading it off Wikipedia, the ever faithful Wikipedia. Kingdom of heaven is like a grain of a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. Okay, I got the first sentence right. <laughs> but like down to the word no that's not what you said i said the king okay i said kingdom of god you know god's heaven and all that yeah no. holy shit is something actually happening no we're not gonna stop this you're gonna have to hold that if we move though man you want to back up are you fucking kidding me what do you want me to do oh uh, just so the people know this this thing can just hold on to it what the fuck do you want me to do about it so the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed where it grows, it's greater than the herbs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air can... Uh, so basically, heaven is full of birds, not old people. <laughs> it's, it's a big place that has all the birds. <laughs> that doesn't sound... <laughs> <laughs> so by that, Jesus has proven that birds go to heaven. <laughs> We're not sure about dogs, but birds go up there. I think that's why they fly. It's not hard for them to get there. Parable of the talents. Oh, I know this. Like, guy, rich guy leaves his house and he gives his servant people like... Holy shit, we're actually going. Oh, wait. Yo, keep, go, keep going. So, guy leaves his house and uh, he gives his people... Uh, uh, I'm putting he's on gonna my get hit again. He's going to get hit again. I swear to Christ, he's going to get hit again. We're Jesus, finally moving and I'm so happy. We Jesus. spent almost half an hour here. That. Good God. That's really sad right there. Yes. Oh yeah, just so you guys know, uh, the guy didn't really hit a chick, he just ch hit, hit a chick's car. Hit a chick's, yeah, I guess. There, the, before you, I well, mean, the chick did double park, I think, did she? Uh, yes. Yeah, so she deserves to get hit. That's a bit extreme, but... Okay, we'll say we'll say that. Okay, Parable of the Talents is, guy leaves his house, he, he gives his people money he's like dude uh there there you go do what you will and one guy says oh shit got money can't waste it so he buries it somewhere another guy goes on like damn 
gotta invest this shit. Invest it and gets like two times as much back or something. Then third guy, probably white, invested it again, invested his portion of the the, the whatever the money and gets like eight or four times as much. He's most he's probably white. So what happens after that is the the rich guy gets back home. He's like homies, what's up, y'all? So one guy comes in is like, dude, got you like eight of the things that you gave me from the one that you gave me. He's like, ah, oh, yes, son. Here's like I think seventy five percent of that or fifty percent of that. That's yours now. I'm really proud of you. The second guy comes in and he's like, dude, got you like twice as much or four times as much something something lesser than the white guy and the rich guy I said mean, this takes place in Israel and none of them either none of them or all of them are they're all albinos white. I read this somewhere they're all albinos where the fuck did you read that uh, some really dark part of the internet so second guy comes in is like dude I got you less than the white guy but you know more than what you gave me so guy is still happy he's like oh yeah dude this is really nice so here's like half or something of what you earned well, from the money if you got for it you're here's two of the things then the last guy comes in and he's like uh so i uh, remember when you told me this is your money so i i didn't spend it and i know that you're gonna lose your shit but he said it in the very nice like i know that you'd be very upset if i lost you money so with all the money you gave me i buried it somewhere didn't touch it and here it is back Rich guy flips his shit. He's like, the fuck, you lazy ass? He's like, look at your two homies. They got me more stuff. That's why they have shares now. You did nothing. I mean, you didn't lose me money. I'm really happy that you did. But you did nothing, you lazy shit. For that, you're going to jail. You're going to the dungeon. Five years dungeon! And Jesus said like, apparently this is God giving people talents. And you should do stuff with your talents that makes you get more talents. Uh, so if you draw, keep drawing till you make eight drawings. You can sell half those drawings and make money. This is how I understand it because they get shares and shit of their earnings. <laughs> and if you don't draw, you're going to hell. That's the parable of talents. <laughs> You got a lot of details wrong, but I think you got the message right. <laughs> you got like the main, the meat of it is correct, but I'm pretty sure most of your details were wrong. I know and you left out some crucial points. Like, well, for example, it's the, it's it, they didn't get it, they didn't make. I think each of them made twice what they originally got, but they all got different amounts. No, obviously the third guy didn't get didn't make shit. The guy who yeah. buried it didn't make shit, but the, like the two other guys got, they made the same percentage, but they got different amounts. So the point was like, he who has more is, of he who has more, more is expected or some shit like that. Some Jesus thingy, I don't know. Nah, I still think you have to draw and sell half of what you Nah, yeah, that's, that's, it. that's still part of it. Yeah, you have to use what you're given. So anyway, this was Cholo explaining Jesus. Well, not yet. I want that to be another video. We, we are gonna get so drunk later on, and we might do more of this. I'm, s yeah. We should we should make this a weekly thing. Or like like yeah, whenever I'm there, that. whenever I'm here, Cholo explains Jesus. We out. Cholo explains things. Bye bye. Say bye. Just